Let's tie a hula damsel, actually a specialized hula damsel that floats a little bit. And I call it my neutral density hula damsel. We start off with a wiggle shank and 16 knot, 17 knot good broad white thread. I tie it in about half inch, five eighths of an inch back from the eye of the hook. I have three strands of olive ostrich hurl. and tie it in. Now I've got a piece of olive brown midge tubing. And the reason for the midge tubing, eh, it traps a little bit of the air, helps lift my fly a little bit. And I've caught a little bit of a taper in it, as you can see, so just so I don't get any buildup, just or minimize the amount of buildup. Now I'm going to tie off my thread at the back end because I'm going to use that spool of thread to trap my ostrich hurl as I wind it up through the front. I'll take another spool of 17 knot uni thread and tie it in at the eye. I'm going to take my olive brown midge tubing and just wrap it up to the front. Tie it off and trim it. You ever see these flies in nature, they wiggle like the head stays there stationary and the back end just goes crazy back and forth. And it's a very, very slim profile. I'm pulling the ostrich hurl on the sides. There really aren't any gills on the abdomen of a hula damsel, but I'm just trying to add a little movement to my abdomen section right in the middle section. I'm not being too careful, I just wrap it up, try to get it in between the wraps of midge tubing, but I'm not too, too picky about it. trim off my excess ostrich hurl and tie it off. Now I'm also going to cut off the excess portion of my wiggle shank. Right here I'm just touching up the little white thread or that I have show that is exposed. Now I'm taking a Tamco 2487. This is in a size 14. And inside I'm also taking a piece of 50 pound mono and I'm crimping it in the middle and then I'm going to wave it through a, th a flame in order to get make my eyes. 
and you can see right there in the background I'm crimping. Now I've got a piece of 17 hot uni in white. I'm gonna tie in my eyes using my tweezers. And just figure eight them in. If you leave them in the tweezers, it makes it a lot easier to handle them. I got fat fingers, Vienna sausages. So it's just easier for me to use the tweezers. And just to figure eight, I am going to put a little super glue on them, though, just to nail that sucker in there. Now, I've got a piece of 3X floral carbon tippet. And I'm going to crimp it a little bit at the end, and then I'm going to leave a space about three, mm, three sixteenths of an inch. And then I'll have two flat spots in my tippet. I'm going to match those two flat spots, and the tippet that's not crimped in the middle will become my loop or my hinge. See, see those two flat spots? They'll match up. And tie it in. String the abdomen section that I've already tied. And then adjust the loop so that the flat two flat sides match up. Creates a nice loop and a lot of surface area to hold strong. Then I'm going to take my tippet over the top, underneath the eye, and then back over the top again and then tie it in. Trim off my excess tippet. This time I take my marker, 80 marker, and just darken up the eyes. And also take a little bit of super glue and glue that joint. Now I've got a piece of two millimeter thick olive foam and it's going to become my wing case. And I use the foam so that I get a little, so I get a little bit more flotation. Now this piece of foam is probably a little bit wider than an eighth of an inch. Now this is a piece of hand saddle, hand saddle feather, and it's an olive. And it's going to become my legs. When I fish this thing, I put a lot of floatant all over this hen, hen saddle feather along with the foam to help my fly stay afloat. Now, it doesn't just stay up in the water. It just can't do that. But it does give it a little neutral buoyancy, so it, it sits at about six to eight inches underneath the water. And I like to drag it next to a weed line. And the takes are ferocious to say the least. And just take my feather, wrap it, push it back. Preen back the feathers as you wrap. Now I'm just going to take that stem and tie it off.
I'm going to split my feathers and pull that wing case over. Preen those feathers back, those fibers back. And where I'll tie it off first is right before the eyes, right in back of the eyes. Excuse me, back the eye of the hook, right in front of the eyes. And then what I like to do is take another wrap right behind the eyes. And I like the way it splits up the case and wraps those eyes in foam on top. Bring it again up to the front. Trim off my excess material. Cut out the feathers, the fibers right underneath the eye of the hook. And take a bit of marker, touch that, that white thread as well as darken up the foam a little bit. Just an olive marker.